Hello, hello, and welcome to another update video about XRP. Yeah, yesterday um, we did um, we did uh, get our B wave there, Circle Wave B, um, that was likely related to the fake news around this um, BlackRock ETF, which was um, you know which was distributed on on X or Twitter. So that was fake news, but it was the B wave we <laughs> we were actually looking for. So the idea um, is still that we are watching if the price can get into this support area. So the move down that we had of the November high was a three wave move in wave A, circle wave A. The move up was a three wave move in wave B, circle wave B. And yeah, I mean, now um, I'm watching if we can get this C wave down, basically. Yeah, I can also give you a target based on the A wave and the B wave. So we can calculate wave C um, of potentially wave four. So the idea is that, um, that was the dog in the background. The idea is that as long as we're holding the 56 cent level, a fifth wave to the upside can unfold. Um, below that level, below 56 cents, any further upside will get unreliable and we're likely gonna see much lower prices as discussed in previous updates for the bearish, um, scenario. But this is the pivot 56 cents. Yeah. It's not invalidation, so we need to see a sustained break below that level. But if it's a wave four, we don't want it to get below the, the 61.8 retracement. Very, very important. Now, if this is a C wave down, then this here could now be the wave one. We're watching for a wave two corrective rally, a third wave down, a fourth wave, and a fifth wave of C of four. Now, let's zoom in a little bit. Um, so we might have to go... First of all, let's, let's look at targets. Um... Because the problem is we have a high B wave. Okay, the A wave was a three wave move that always makes a high B wave likely. But if the B wave is high, then sometimes in a C wave, we don't go below the low of the A wave. Yeah, I know it's complex, but that's just what it is, unfortunately. So the C wave length is normally calculated based on the length of the A wave. Yeah, so they often have yeah a relationship, uh, a FIP relationship where we say the one-to-one -one ratio is normally a first key target for wave C. Now it's already arrived there at 64 cents, okay? When it moved up and retraced the entire move again. So was that all of wave C? I cannot rule it out, but I'd like to see a clearer five wave move. So the 1.618 extension level is the next level to watch at 58 cents. It's not super reliable, but it's a key level to watch. So what does that mean? That means that if the next rally is corrective and we stay below yesterday's high, then I will count this as a wave two with a third wave of wave C to come, then a four and a five, and that can complete this overall wave four. If, however, we now break above this high of 74 cents, then it would indicate that all of this wave C was already done. As I just explained to you, the C wave just needs to do the 100% extension. It would be possible, a running flat, a so-called running flat structure with the A wave in three waves, an overshooting B wave and a C wave that ends above A. But that structure would need additional proof because it's not a high probability structure. So I need to see a break above yesterday's high to confirm it. And if that is the case, then we move up more directly in wave five already. But then it gives us the problem that this wave four as a whole would have been very, very short in duration. So I would prefer that clear C wave maybe over the next few weeks or so. That's my update about XRP. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.